Happy Friday from Terry here, D Lab Electronics. This video is part three of the Precision Electronics Model S10 amplifier repair. This amp came to the shop from a swap meet, had the motor boating issue that's been resolved with the new output transformer. Now it's time to fix that power supply. Everything's kind of hanging in there, it's very dangerous, so I need to get that all taken care of. But first, we're going to do a little A-B comparison. I'm going to put this thing on the D-Lab audio test set and we'll look at the sine wave output, see how the amp is performing, then I'll repair the power supply and we'll test it again. Here we go. Before I begin, I want to give you a little bit of a close-up view of the power supply situation and explain the do's and don'ts, okay? Number one, this thing originally had this can type filter capacitor that you see in a lot of radios and amplifiers, okay? Well, it obviously went bad at one point in its life, so somebody decided to come in here and add these external caps to do the job of the original. And that's fine and dandy, but what you don't want to do is what you see here. You see how he just cut the terminals off of the old cap? Then he just suspended these parts in here, all right? to do the job of what that filter did. It's okay to add these caps and it's okay to leave the original one in place, but you should at least land some terminal boards so that this is secure. This is extremely dangerous, guys. There's 400 volts in here and look how close it is to the microphone input terminal. And that's where you're gonna be plugging in maybe your guitar or mic or whatever it may be so if this shifts, I mean, look at that, it's like a quarter inch away. If that were to shift and touch, kaboom, right? Very dangerous, very bad practice. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to take all this out, okay, clean it up, and I'm going to put in a new filter cap in the place of the original. And then we'll get in here, we'll get the wiring routed, and get this thing clean and secure and safe. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna turn on the amp. I have an audio generator simulating an input to the mic jack. We're using the D-Lab audio test set. So it has dummy load resistor in it, a watt meter, and an output that's going over here to my oscope, all right? So what I want to do is see approximately what the power output is, and we'll look at the scope and see if it's clean, all right? So the audio generator is set up around, what, 600 hertz or so, whatever. I'm going to bring up the volume, and you can see the watt meter, okay? So I'm getting well over 10 watts, which I'd expect out of a pair of 6BQ5s. Let's take a look at the scope. So it doesn't look too bad. She'll break up nicely. I mean, look at that. That little 6EU6 does a pretty decent job. But as you can see, there is a little bit of distortion in the sine wave. But that would be expected to because of the weird little cap job we got going here. And I don't know if that's correct. All right. So the next step is we're going to kill the amp. We're going to make sure things are discharged. I'm going to remove all this cluster, put in the new filter cap, rewire it, and we'll repeat this test. Here's the old original filter capacitor right served his time well he's coming out and I'm replacing it with the CE distribution type okay so there are mounting little flanges on mine so I'm gonna to have to drill two little holes to mount it this is also a four section cap whereas this is only two so this guy is gonna handle the first two stages of high voltage and then the other cap sections I'll be substituting in some little axial caps underneath on terminal boards. So before I begin, obviously we're going to take a meter, pop it in here. You can see I still have 16 volts. So remember this magic adapter I showed you guys in one of my previous videos? This has a little 22K resistor on it. In this case, I'm just going to take it, plug it across there, and discharge the power supply. All right? So we'll wait till that discharges, I'll check all the other caps, and then I am simply going to get in here with the old snippety doo -dahs. 
I'm cutting all that crap out of there and we're starting over. So I've removed all the cliff hangers from the bottom of the amp. All right. What I wanted to point out is you see the resistors here and you see those little square metal tabs that are soldered to them. Those used to be the tabs that were on the bottom of the original filter cap. So when this guy installed the new components, he simply clipped them off this guy and just let everything hang, right? Well, if you think about it, that's okay for him because he knows that that safety hazard exists. But then you take it to a swap meet, you sell it to some poor guy that thinks he's got a cool lamp, plugs in his device and gets shocked, right? So think of the implications, guys. Be careful. Power supply is rewired, new filter caps installed, terminal board, everything's nice and secure. I have the amp on. Let's take a look now at the output power. Has not changed. Look at the scope. Looks pretty decent. You can see that bottom side of the sine wave is a little bit skewed. Let's check the distortion. Look at there. Excellent. So the next thing that I'd like to do is remove this panning pot that was auxiliary and phono because we're not going to use that and let's get the controls to be our volume, treble, and bass rather than a tone control and a panning pot that you're never going to use. So as you can see this little S10 amp is really starting to come to life and I'm going to add the bass and treble controls, right? And I thought, you know, why would I want to add bass and treble when it has that little crummy 6EU7 as the input tube plus the inverter? So how about we do this? We'll put in a separate inverter tube and a separate preamp tube. So how about a 12AX7 and a 6AV6, right? I think that that would really make this amp a little screamer and probably give it that fender tone. So that's what I'm going to do, and you'll see that in part four of the Precision Electronics Amplifier. See ya.